You've probably heard of question and answer guitar solos, but what are they? Starting to improvise guitar solos is one of the most daunting things about playing guitar, and it doesn't help that most experienced guitarists will just tell you to kind of play the scale for a bit. And they're not wrong exactly, it's just unhelpful. Like, how do you know which notes to play at any given moment, right? One of the best ways to think about guitar solos is like a conversation, like you can voice two parts of a wordless conversation on your instrument. You can pose a question and you can answer that question. There's a lot we can learn about how to play this style of guitar solos from conversations we have in real life. When we answer a question, we tend to use a similar set of language to the question itself. We use similar inflection, similar phrasing, similar subtext. For example, a sarcastic question will often have a sarcastic answer. This is called question and answer soloing, and today we're going to be looking at the absolute basics of how to do this. We're going to make some really broad strokes, but then I'm going to give you some rhetorical questions to go away and experiment with. To get started, we're going to have a simple phrase on guitar and we're going to repeat it, but we're going to end on a different note each time. Those will be our question and answer notes, and those are the only notes that are going to change. The rest of the phrase is exactly the same, for today's purposes anyway. Ending on a note that isn't the tonic is considered a question, whilst ending on the tonic is considered an answer. The kind of question you're asking depends on the note you're playing at the end of that question phrase. For example, a fifth could be something innocuous like, do you want guacamole with that? Whilst landing on a minor sixth is something dramatic like, will you marry me? Try asking a question with every note in a scale. Try using notes above and below the tonic that you're going to answer the question with, and feel free to pause the video here and come back once you've tried a few out. <laughs> Now that we understand the basics of question and answer guitar soloing and hopefully you've spent 10 minutes playing some, I want to finish by posing a few questions. And don't worry, there aren't really right and wrong answers, this is just a way to get you to think about the different things you could play. So what happens if you try to answer the question with a note other than the root? Do the questions and the answers need to be the same length? Can you ask several questions but just have one answer? What kind of questions can you ask from outside of the scale? Do the notes leading up to the question or up to the answer actually matter? Can you ask or answer a question with just one note? That's all for this week. Remember to subscribe for weekly music and guitar videos. And also let me know how you get on in the comments. How are you finding question and answer soloing? Do my analogies actually make sense? All of that good stuff, put it in the comments below and I'll reply to probably most of them, probably. See you next week.